Okay, so I noticed that there's nothing out there about the difference between the four-wheel drive and two-wheel drives on what you have to do differently. Okay, the only thing you have to do differently on the four-wheel drive is you have to rem remove that very heavy subframe. It's just four big bolts. If you don't have the, the wrenches, I used, um, you know, pipe wrenches and my largest crescent wrench and was able to get them. They weren't very tight. Four bolts. The thing weighs a lot. I'm talking about 150 pounds. Once you drop it down, then you got to remove this long drive line from the transfer case. It goes up underneath. Once those are out of the way, everything else is just the same as the, uh, the two-wheel drive, 580, 480. Mine's a 480 ELL four-wheel drive. And I was a little nervous at first, but like I said, once I will say this, if your uh, shuttle shift is acting up, don't keep driving it. Shut it down immediately. Mine got stuck in the forward, which means uh, a broken dit, a broken uh, clutch disc has jumped itself. And unfortunately, I kept driving it because I had to finish a job and I chewed up my pump splines. So, good thing I have a spare. So don't be me, don't <laughs> do that. Everything else is the same. This is from a 580 two-wheel drive. Um, I'm not even sure what model 580, but I was able to get the parts I need. I'm gonna tear into this one and hopefully everything's salvageable.